So how many of you are special? Perfect. <laughs> I'll never forget walking to my first grade class. And it was amazing. So I walk up, and they had this huge motivational sign. And this is exactly how it read. Welcome slow learning disability students. Thank you. You went to that school too? <laughs> that was the first time that a label defined me. I didn't have any choice in the matter at all. So I just accepted it. And that's who I am. Smart. Genius. Awesome. See, some labels can actually empower you. Idiot! Stupid! What are you thinking? Retarded? See, some labels disempower you. Awkward! Shorty! You know who this is? This kid, this was what he was taunted with most of his life. But now we call him genius. Elon Musk, founder of Tesla, SpaceX, and PayPal. You can't even speak and you're four years old. What are you, are you a mute? You immigrant? That's what he was taunted most of his life. They even labeled him the dopey one. But now, you call him the father of physics, Mr. Albert Einstein. You are a nerd! And this is when it was actually not cool. <laughs> but now you call him Mr. Bill Gates. Unfortunately, many more people, people whose names you'll probably never even know, are defined by their labels. They're not, not even really applied to them. Some are even killed because other people's hatred over their label. Hey, black boy! See, in the 1950s, that was a very different label. That meant, that label, that he couldn't eat at the same restaurant. That he had a drink out of a different water fountain. That he was not even allowed in most neighborhoods. See, but this little boy turned into a man. And this man had a dream. And now we know him as Dr. Martin Luther King. Loser. Stupid. You'll never know, Gabriel. Because in 2017, he committed suicide at eight years old because of his life. Gay. You fag. You'll never know Matthew Shepard because he was brutally murdered because of his label. According to statistics, in 2010, there are roughly 160,000 kids every day that miss school in the fear of being bullied or labeled. See, today, we're not only labeling people, we're not labeling people in their face, we're labeling people through a phone or a computer screen. That devastates a kid's emotional development. See, I was one of the lucky ones. I eventually overcame my label and applied it. And I'll never forget... So I'm at my friend's house, and he says, four of my friends specifically, they say, hey, you want to go out tonight? I said, nah, I'm good. Just don't feel like going out. Later on that night, I'm at home, and I'm watching TV, and it says, breaking news. Four teenagers kidnap a kid, lock him up in a trunk, and attempted to burn him alive. I look closer to the actual TV screen and those kids were actually my friends. 
that I didn't go out that night. Immediately, I dropped any kind of label that I had on myself. I was not stupid anymore. I was not slow anymore. I was not somebody who was a failure. I immediately went to my guidance counselor that next day and I said, we need to come up with a plan. I need to join the military. Immediately she looked at me, she said, Franklin, I don't think you understand. You're graduating with a special diploma. I said, that's great, what are you talking about? She's like, no, 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 it's not that kind of special. It's this kind. I said, what do I need to do? She said, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to take three extra classes after school. You're going to have to go work in between, because that's what your dad basically said that you have to do. Plus, you have to go to night school, which I didn't even know existed at the time. Plus, you have to go to night school four days out the week. Then you have to go to summer school. Then you have to go to summer night school. Then you have to redo the entire thing again your senior year. Oh, yeah. And if you fail one class, you don't graduate on time. And all these are normal classes. I'll never forget the night before graduation, I had one more class in night school. And if I passed it, I walked. And if I didn't pass, I did not walk. And I passed. I passed, and then from there, I went, one month later, I went to the United States Army and served seven years. See, I created a purpose for myself in going to the military that allowed me to actually transform my label. See, we not only need to be careful about the labels that we apply to people, we need to be sure that the people have the power to transform and challenge that label. That they feel empowered. But we have to give them the tools and information to challenge the status quo. To transform the meaning of their labels that hurt them. See, power is having the ability to see people for who they will become. Not who they are right now. Thank you.